Hi, everybody. Um, glad we can make this time work. I'm Andrew, a technical specialist here at Microsoft. And today for this conversation, I'm going to introduce the group to a strategy for always on customer service to ultimately drive faster resolutions and improve the customer's experience. I thought I'd begin with a, well, a personal story. This actually happened to me over this last holiday season. So let me run that for you. So my family and I were, were at the airport and we had to get there really early in the morning, but the kids, they were hungry. So they left me behind to check bags and they made it through security to go find some food. Now, what I wasn't expecting was an hour long wait to drop our baggage. And ultimately I got to the front of that baggage drop line and I couldn't check. They told me I couldn't even get on the flight. So it was an international flight and I had to book the next one out of town. I was, uh, clearly disappointed I had to leave my family. I called my wife and I said, you all go ahead and get on that flight, I'll get the next one. So I'm looking at the ticket counter and I see what looks like hundreds of people and I think, well, I don't have time to wait for that. I'm just gonna pick up the phone here and call in. Clearly they've gotta have more travel agents staffed at the contact center, but they didn't. Um, they weren't able to help me in less than 45 minutes. So I head over to the website and I see an update probably like you see here on screen, but it's full of terms and conditions and exceptions. And I don't really know what to do with this. I can't make sense of it. So ultimately I have to pick up the phone and, and make that call that, well, that I tried to avoid in the first place. All right, so you look at this here and you ask yourself, well, is this a quality, is this a great experience? And, and clearly it's not. And this is an experience that in large part was um, you know, limited by the amount of, of available agents and staff to serve me. So in our conversation today, we're gonna have uh, really a look into a, a way to improve this experience for the traveler, but also for the airline. And here's a framework for what we're gonna see. Uh, we'll begin with a conversation uh, where we see a traveler connect this time to a virtual agent to solve that rebooking question. And then we'll pick up that same experience and just add to it. We're gonna hand off our customer from the virtual agent to a live agent whenever a human intervention is required. And then at the end, I'll share with you all some suggested next steps. And I've also got a special offer and I'll save that for the end of our conversation as well. All right, with that said, let's get into our first scenario. So here we'll see our traveler connect to a virtual agent through a natural interface and start to, to answer those questions they need in order to rebook their flight. All right, so here we go. So I'm on the Contoso Air website and I don't necessarily spend a lot of time here, but I see this let's chat bubble here on the bottom right. And I'm gonna go ahead and click that and see if I can start to get my questions answered. Now. This could be staffed with a live agent, but it looks like I'm connected to a virtual agent. And again, I've never used this before, but I'm just gonna quickly, anxiously type in my request. Hey, I've got a question about my flight to Sydney. And I push that through and I start to see some information come back here. Now, if you were paying really close attention, I wanna point something out. You may have noticed that I, well, I misspelled the word flight. And I did that intentionally because I wanna share that um, you know, as a traveler, I don't have to be a great speller, especially when I'm anxious about meeting up with my family later. Now, as a topic designer, and you'll see this later on in our presentation, all the language model is built right in, so I don't have to build in misspellings either. So it's easy on both sides of the coin here. All right, let's continue on with this conversation. So was the flight ticketed before the 16th? and I can choose yes or no, and it's quick and easy. I can just click that yes button on screen and I get back all the entitlements that I have due as a traveler falling under these particular dates. Now, I wanna point something else out here too, that of course you've got search on your website already. You've got a search box and customers can do simple questions and answers. Go ahead and let that live on. Let your website do what it's good at. Our hope or really our strategy for enabling a virtual agent like you see here is that it really offers um, a curated experience, a conversation back and forth. So in this case, the traveler's asking questions about, hey, can I get a refund here? Virtual agent says, sure, you sure can. And would you like to go ahead and rebook this flight? All within the same natural conversation channel that you see here. So this starts to wind down our first framework for the day. 
and we saw how we can take a, an updated travel notice like you see here, not easy to read, and roll that into a agent, really a curated conversation. And you might be asking yourself too, well, how do I know this is actually working? You know, what's the, um, what's the analytics on something like a virtual agent? And I'll share this sample scenario with you. Uh, this, by the way, is an out-of-the-box report that we embed with our virtual agent solution. And I'll focus on really two pieces here. One, the resolution rate. Notice that this virtual agent is solving problems 83% of the time, higher than most human agents. And the other piece here, look at outcomes over time right below it. The resolutions stay way above the level of escalations and abandoned conversations. So the engagement is really high with this virtual agent. So ultimately for me as a traveler, I get a faster resolution. And you'll see this in our next scenario too, the airline has lower operating cost as they're starting to deflect those would-be live conversations. All right, so we're gonna move into now our second scenario for the day. And I'm gonna share with you how a virtual agent can hand off into a live agent. Oh, um, Ray, Ray, are you guys seeing that? Are you guys seeing that wheel on the screen? Hold on a second. I've, I've got a few windows open here. Yeah. I know you were probably yeah, we're expecting, seeing the wheel. And yeah, you're, you're probably expecting a, a better presentation from me. Hey, that was a bit of a dramatization, right? You probably picked up on that. But what I wanted you all to experience just for a moment is what an agent goes through when they're on the other side. I mean, you've all been a traveler. You've been frustrated. But think about the service professionals, too. They're working in the dark, and they're frustrated with their technology. When you call in, they don't know why you're calling. And ultimately, they don't feel great about their job. Their, their general job satisfaction is low. So we're going to talk about how to change that experience. From the customer side, know this, that 72% of bad customer experiences are attributed to having to explain the problem multiple times. So it really affects all parties here. In this next scenario, you're gonna see the virtual agent handoff to a live service professional. And we're gonna take a quick sidestep and I'll give you a view into the actual topic designer and see how that handoff happens from a technical perspective. All right, so let's see that now. Here we are inside of the virtual agent window. And we'll go right into the topic that we're using for this conversation. And I wanna start by focusing on the trigger phrases. You see these here. This is how a traveler will engage with a particular journey or a topic with a virtual agent. Notice here too that nowhere do I have the word flight misspelled. In fact, I don't have any misspellings of common words because the natural language model is handling all that for me, um, which means for me as somebody who's managing technology for this airline, I don't have to have third parties or other um, you know, expenses to invest in language models and it's easy. All right, so let's keep going further into this topic. And here it is, uh, and we're seeing it now from the topic designer side. Now, of course, we went down that yes pathway here before, we're gonna see what the no pathway looks like in case this flight was ticketed after the 16th. Well, what happens then? Now, in this case, we really have the conversation ending with a survey, probably not the most optimized experience. So let's change that. So as I go through here, I'm just gonna delete off that survey block and let's show our traveler a message, maybe something like, hey, let's connect you to an agent. And now I just need to wire up or really transfer this virtual agent conversation into the agent desktop. And I can do that by adding this final block, transfer to agent. Now I wanna take a quick pause here too and point out that because what you're seeing here, this virtual agent technology is designed to work side by side with Dynamics, our, our agent desktop, there's no integrations or hardwiring here. I just click transfer to agent and that, that transfer is handled automatically. All right, so let's see that conversation again from the website. Here we are, and we're gonna run a similar version as we saw before, can I change my flight to Sydney? In this case, I'm gonna click no, and we're gonna see that other pathway where I might have an exception and need help from a, a live agent. So the customer gets our message, let's connect you to an agent, and now we're gonna pop in on the agent desktop and see what that looks like. So here we are inside of Dynamics, and notice in the upper right, we see the chat request. And by the way, this is the same type of notification 
be it for an incoming text message, even for WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. It's great. Me as an agent, I don't have to get used to multiple windows and private browsers and other logins. It's simple. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that chat. And here we see the entire conversation the virtual agent has had with our customer to this, to, up to this point. So I can start to get a little bit of context. I can also see things like uh, the recent case history here and even see that last flight that was ticketed. So I can assume that our travelers calling in probably has questions about this flight. All right, so I might send a message to our customer and say, hey, hi, I'm here to help you. I'm going to solve your problem. And of course, we'd see that back and forth. So let's assume that I, I solve that question. I help them rebook their flight. And as I'm wrapping up this conversation, I might want to add a little shine to this experience. So I click into their complete customer view. And here I see, for example, recent membership upgrade opportunity. And I want to share this here that oftentimes our customers that use Microsoft as a solution are using it for more than just customer service. You might use it for sales management, um, even things like marketing. In this case, we can see that our traveler has an open application to the Diamond Club membership. So as an agent, I might nudge them, maybe even give them a special offer so they have an even better experience next time they fly with us. All right, so this starts to wind down our, our second framework for the day. We saw how an agent moves from, well, working in the dark and really bringing some light to their workday. They're able to really feel empowered through technology, get a complete view of their customer's journey up to the point they're reaching out for contact, and ultimately, they're feeling good about their job. And that good feeling they have about helping their customers, well, that translates really into elevating the customer experience as well. We start to see a five-star travel journey. Right. All right. So we're coming into this, hopefully what feels like a natural landing spot for this conversation. You might be asking yourself, well, hey, this is all really interesting, but what's the business case? And, and can we can we see an ROI here? And, and I want to share two numbers with you. I'm starting with ten dollars. Ten dollars is the average cost to resolve a ticket with a live agent industry standard. Now compare that, for example, with the cost of running a virtual agent resolution. That cost is about 50 cents per conversation. Now, of course, I'm not gonna say that every conversation is gonna go from a live agent to a virtual agent. Uh, we really need both of these together side by side to provide an optimized experience. But for those conversations that do get resolved through a virtual agent, well, that's a 20X decrease on average, pretty significant. All right, and the last piece that I'll share as you're thinking about really your technology strategy and who to partner with, know this, that everything that you've seen today is built on the same platform. Um, Power Virtual Agents, for example, is built on top of the Power Platform. So what that means is that you have the world of connectors available at your fingertips. In fact, there are hundreds of connectors out of the box that you can use to connect to other Microsoft workloads or technologies and even bring in legacy applications and, and really honor those investments that perhaps you're not ready to replace. You also saw Dynamics for Customer Service, and that was the agent desktop. That also sits on top of this entire consistent foundation as well. So customer information is shared, and you can use that really across all your business units. So this starts to round out our conversation for the day, and I've got a few suggestions on where to go from here. You might head out to powervirtualagents.microsoft.com. You can quickly sign up for a trial, really in a minute, and start to experience designing topics for yourself. And if you have success here, I think you probably will, let's get back together, let's build something. I can help you bring a use case to life, and I can even recommend like partners that specialize in your industry to really see how this comes together. And the last piece is that offer that I, I referenced at the beginning. Right now, we have a no-cost licensing opportunity, up to six months of Dynamics for customer service, in addition to Power Virtual Agents for select industries. So that starts to round out our time for the day. I'm really excited to help you all take next steps and potentially realize any value you may have recognized today. Thank you.